Let's talk about the media and how we can make a difference. Last month at Ohio State University, a terrorist used his car as a weapon to ram people, then got out and started stabbing people before he was finally shot by police. The media used words like terrorism, attacker, and victims, and even explored possible connections to Al-Qaeda and Islamic State, also known as ISIS. But this year, Israelis suffered 42 car rammings, 166 stabbings, and for the most part, the media didn't report these stories at all. But when they did, they used words like Palestinian killed or Palestinian shot dead, even though those Palestinians were the ones doing the attacking. And what did the media have to say about the Israeli victims of these attacks? In most cases, nothing. But this isn't just about Israel. In many cases, terrorists develop their tactics in Israel and then export them all over the world. A really good analysis in the New York Post showed that by ignoring terrorism against Israelis abroad, we put American lives and European lives in danger back at home. But we can make a change in the world. For example, a Reuters headline said, Palestinian dies in ramming attack, covering up that that Palestinian was the one doing the ramming. Honest reporting readers forced Reuters to change their headline. And that's just one example. Behind the scenes, these news agencies provide the vast majority of media coverage that we see in newspapers, on television, and on the internet. Let's demand that they live up to their responsibilities as journalists by signing a petition right now. You can click on the link in the description, or if you're watching on YouTube, the link will be right here on the screen. When we work together, we really can make a difference. And honest reporting can help.